Hey guys, what's going on? Will here, Flawless Crested Geckos, coming to you guys with another video today. And it's a Thursday, guys. You already know we're coming to you guys with another one for the Diamond Series. Um, and this specific episode is kind of inspired by one of the customers that came to our table looking and actually purchased uh, Empty Back at this past weekend show at the All American Reptile and Plant Expo show out in Charlotte. Uh, we had an amazing time. Uh, we've already posted and done the review on it. Um, it. It's a lot of fundamental things that they can improve upon as far as the actual uh, spot and location. Um, there's, um, I, I mean, I didn't find a lot of cons to the situation, but we kind of put a lot of weight on us as uh, vendors and breeders on how we perform at shows um, no matter where we are. But uh, go check out that video uh, if you want to kind of check out the, I guess the temperature, uh, kind of a temperature check on the All American Reptile and Plant Expo. I think you'll you'll get some pretty good feedback uh, overall from that sh that uh, review. That being said, in this video we're going to talk a little bit about our empty bag project. Um, we sold an awesome empty bag at the show. Um, it was a high dollar uh, empty bag, one of our prized possessions, but you can't keep them all. Uh, we have quite the lineup in our empty bag program. One of our stars, which was the mom of uh, the gecko that actually sold this weekend, Cringe, um, who is now kind of, she's in the empty bag program because she's an empty bag, but she's kind of been spearheading our Exantic empty back program. Um, for last year, she had a bunch of head empty back, you know, head uh, exantic babies for us that are growing rather nicely. And as you guys know, we tend to hold back exactly what we need for ourselves first. So we're working on that project diligently um, in hopes of uh, the next few years to have beautiful empty back exantics. Um, but Needless to say, um, we wanted to show off another mom. This is going to be Flatline today. Flatline came to us from Altitude Exotics uh, a few years ago, and she's been producing for us for the last two years. Um, she, I guess because of our males that we're putting to her, she's really produced some very outstanding babies. Um, really completely emptying out the dorsal um, and creating some holdbacks for us for the next level. We're going to continue adding fresh and new blood to the empty back program while we also continue to produce holdbacks. Uh, we also want to be able to take some of our productions in several different directions. We are venturing deeper down the red based empty back lane. Again, we want to kind of taper things and tell them to our wants, our desires first. And sometimes with these projects, you're not going to be successful. And part of us and our transparency and putting things out there for, you know, you guys as breeders or, you know, keepers or enthusiasts, no matter what you do, um, the lanes that you choose to go down, we want to put it out what we're doing because some of them are not successful or what we deem as successful. Uh, one that's very uh, relevant, you know, in my brain comes the comes the Dalmatian lily whites. Uh, we really, really tried super, super hard to kind of produce, you know, like a super dial uh, lily white. We thought it would be pretty interesting to see how um, the genes interacted. Um, and I mean, they kind of just did what they did. We produced several lily whites um, Dalmatians, but we never could really own in on a super dial lily white um no matter how engulfed in you know spots our male was no matter if it's second generation and it's a lily white dalmatian that we're breeding this super dial to we can never get the offspring to reflect uh, our vision uh, so we kind of stopped that program all together um it's like all just says back up and punt uh, I figured that when we would never get the result we were striving for and we kind of ceased working on that project. There's so many different lanes um, in Crested Geckos to go down uh, and it seems like every year there's more and more that kind of pop up. 
which makes the industry overall even more interesting. Guess what, guys? We're, we have a lot of geckos and we have a lot of projects. Um, I, I think we're regular people, but you know, yes, we've been looked at as very large breeders and that's awesome. Um, and that's what respect to everyone that's larger than us. Um, but for the most part, no breeder can really work every single project. So that's going to leave gaps and, you know, spots in between for you guys to kind of fill in there and, and chase your passion with whatever it is. So I don't want to get off on my tangent. This video and this diamond series is going to be about flatline and the empty back program. So let's show off. Hey guys, Flawless Crested Geckos here, Will, Audra, and we're here to tell you about our Patreon. Yes, going through tough times, you gotta know that Flawless is always gonna have your back. If you go over to patreon.com slash Flawless Crested Geckos, you'll see all the perks and benefits it is there for you to come and support us on our Patreon. $50 a month turns around and goes right back into your Flawless Crested Gecko savings account for you to use towards your next purchase. Any purchase. We also give awesome benefits such as 5% off off the top of the, the price of the gecko. We get free merchandise, t-shirts, we have stainless steel tables, tools, yes. <laughs> all kinds of goodies. We also give free shipping to our members all year round, no blackout dates. And, you know, we give awesome tips, or we think we do anyway. <laughs> That's right. So go over to patreon.com slash Flawless Crested Geckos. And, and join our family. Yes. Boom. So there's Flatline. Check her out. And, yes, she has a spear for a head. Her head is huge. She's a nice-sized female that's been producing for us for the last two years. And, obviously, those stripes on both sides are absolutely stunning they her specifically has uninterrupted stripes on the side some of the empty bags tend to have dashing when it comes to the side stripes um and that would this part of her that feature of her is what really made her a staple in our project because we want to carry that on to her offspring in hopes that it would with proper pairing um, as well as her coloration, she gets even darker than what you see now. Love her structure, love her head, love her tail. This is something that we don't show off too often. I don't know if everyone has seen this, but typically on empty backs, you're going to continue. It's empty and out the dorsal, but then down the tail, it's kind of striped down the tail for those that still have their tails. Another feature on her, which was what we want to kind of work with with certain geckos, is that she's actually spotless. So it gives us a great basis of a canvas to start with if we want to, say for instance, take this specific female flatline and take her to, you know, panty dropper or perfection, which are two of our like high white reds. And for the first you know, generation of offspring, and this is again, it's just mocking up an example. For the first generation of offspring, you may not get exactly what you want, but I'm almost betting that we will. <laughs> you know, so we're gonna go down that road or continue down that road because we already have red offspring in the empty bag program. Check out her belly. Really, really cool. She's like, do whatever you want. But she is absolutely stunning. She's awesome. She kind of has that frazzled crest look where the crest that goes down her dorsal is kind of a little bit extended throughout, even down in the rear. I don't know how close I can get. So her crest tends to be a little longer than normal. And again, yeah, it's a, it's a stretch to say, oh, that's genetic or that's, you know, I think it's a little bit of a reach. But what we will know is something that we take notes on about our breeders. And it's something that we can track generations to come as our projects progress. And again, that's the passion side of it, following your projects.
So guys, that's Flatline. Uh, we love her. Again, I'm sure you guys get tired of hearing the broken record, but she's not leaving. I doubt she'll ever leave. She's one of our foundation females for our empty back program. We have several of them. So um, as it was explained to us, you know, from a very excited customer that they would like to see more of the empty back program. So we're going to show a little bit more here and there. We try to take into consideration everyone's comments when you guys comment down below and we have a lot of geckos and we are getting up there in the numbers on the diamond series so we want to be able to cater to our audience directly um, at the same time show off exactly what we want to show off and sometimes we can change up the order in which we show things off which is perfectly fine we want this um, kind of series to be very interactive and very inclusive um, you never know what, you know, you guys or anyone that's watching these videos may kind of, it may kind of catch their eye and, you know, the light bulb may go off for you to kind of create whatever it is that comes to mind that maybe we're not even thinking of at the time. So again, um, we want to con consistently promote creativity, um, and don't chase obviously other people's projects. Have your own passion for whatever you're passionate about and execute and follow through. But it's Will, Flawless Crested Geckos. I hope you enjoy your Thursday. We love you guys and we out.